all my life have been somebody who imagined being beyond where I was. In the 30 mile team time trial in the Utsunomiya Nikko motorway. From when I was a little girl and I dream of racing my bicycle up and down the streets. And I'd imagine people lining the roads and cheering me on. The US team of Inga Thompson, Eve Stevenson, Phyllis Hines, and Maureen Manley finished second behind the Dutch team to win the silver medal. I teach people personal and organizational strategies to achieve what it is that they want for themselves. Maureen Manley wins a silver medal at the 1990 World Championships. She's a multiple American champion, a teammate on Team USA. She's even on the back of a cereal box. There isn't a hill she can't climb, until. And what happened by the time we crested the top of the mountain, my vision had blurred so severely I lost my sight completely and found my wheels sliding out from underneath me and I found myself tumbling to the ground. What I didn't know then, that I now know, is that I rode my bike off one road to begin a journey on a new road. And the new road is a life with multiple sclerosis. For a while, I, I couldn't see myself imagining being happy without having cycling. And then there came a time in my life, about a year and a half into my diagnosis of MS, where I really got that this is my life. This is it blurred vision, wobbly legs and all, that this is my life. And it was at that point that I made the most powerful choice to live my life, to stop passively wishing and hoping I could get my cycling career back, that this was my life and I needed to move forward. And a thought went through my head that was so powerful, I don't know if I thought it or it thought me. The thought was, focus on what you can see and not on what you can't. So I brought my vision in closer where I could see just fine. I could see the park bench that I was on, I could see the concrete that it, that it was sitting on, and I could see the water lapping up against the shore. And I could rest there. And then I looked up through the park to the road. And I knew I couldn't walk down the road. But I knew I could walk to the next bench. And I knew I had a choice to move or not. And I made the choice to get up and move and walk to that next bench and sit and rest. And then look to the next bench and move, sit and rest. That was a threshold experience for me, one that would usher me out through the rest of my life. What I did for myself and now help other people do is identify their yeses. What is their reasons that they want to be well, happy, or to achieve anything? I think we all need to lean into and build and work towards our yeses. And so when I began to say, okay, I'm not gonna meditate because I have this stupid disease, I'm gonna meditate to create more peace and, cr and creativity for myself. And I'm gonna eat well because I wanna be as healthy and happy and as strong and vital as I possibly can be because I want to be healthy. So that's where it started, with just holding that. Just like when I was a little kid and wanted to be a world-class athlete. You know, it's like, I'm here and I wanna be here, so what do I need to, to do and what do I need to learn? And then as I went to graduate school, I began to study more of the philosophies and the, the practices that I was learning about and then um, behaving myself. So the things like positive psychology and even psychology and the mind-body medicines and psychoneuroimmunology and how the whole body is interconnected and works together, the applied behavioral sciences. What are we finding that's successful that people are doing to be able to be, be causal in their lives? What I termed integrated wellness and really looking at the whole of who we are as individuals and how that sits into other systems and other systems and what we create from there and how it is that you can teach this to individuals and organizations to be able to create the change. And that's how I have a different um, view on a, on a situation that, that individuals or organizations don't see what I see. I see a much more dynamic process in place and I see the, the hiccups <laughs> that are happening and I like to say I come in as the verb. I come in as the person that really shows and illustrates how it is that you can achieve what it is that you want. My job is to help them to see just how powerful they are. As individuals and as a collective organization, I'm not gonna come in with my roadmap for you. I'm gonna help you create your own roadmap. 
because we are the road makers. I mean, this is a time of immense change in this world. Maureen starts pushing herself like she always had. By 2001, she bungee jumps in Canada. Then in 2003, 12 years after diagnosis, she gets back on the bike in a race. Given the choice, she'd get rid of her MS in a heartbeat, but she wouldn't trade the last 18 years for anything. I can't say that I know who I'd be without it. And I see the lives that I've touched and how without the challenge of it, I wouldn't have grown to the level that I have. And many others have grown too, thanks to her. One of my favorite quotes that I hear from people is, I haven't, I never thought about it that way. And, and thank you, <laughs> because it really has helped to set them free in so many ways to look at what it is that they can achieve for themselves and experience for themselves, whether it's with um, any kind of a challenge. It could be a health challenge, it could be a financial challenge, it could be a relationship challenge, it could be a work challenge. And when I hear that, I get that it's not about, it's not about me at all. What it tells me is that something was breathed into them, a new possibility. And that's what I want to do is illustrate possibilities. People go, wow, okay, I see where I've been getting in my own way and how it is that I can move past that. I don't share my story so you say, oh, good for you. I share it so you can say, oh, I can do that too.